Hey y'all, so I told you guys I was gonna be doing some product reviews and so I told you that I have finally updated my Amazon storefront and I will be keeping it current as I talk about different products and like try to link them or whatever on my channel. Girl, I have been wanting to make this video for a while. So I'm gonna do these in order. So I'm gonna be doing my favorite pregnancy items, my favorite postpartum items, and of course my favorite baby items, all right? and obviously I'm going to be saving the best for last but I do want to talk about some of my favorite pregnancy items like items that I use during my pregnancy which let's just go off and do first things first first things first my favorite item that I used during pregnancy was my pregnancy pillow oh my goodness and you know it's so weird too right because in the early stages like my first trimester of my pregnancy the pregnancy pillow felt super uncomfortable like it felt unnecessary like i did not like it mind you i was already dealing with like my nausea and like my sickness and all that stuff and when i would lay on my pregnancy pillow i just i just couldn't get the vibe going i just couldn't get the vibe right um, and I just didn't like it. So a lot of times I would just sleep with it off of the bed, right? But as I got more into my second trimester and I started kind of like obviously growing and my stomach like getting bigger and all that. And I started just kind of, you know, having to adjust with my body. I started loving the pregnancy pillow because it was nice. It just kind of like kick my legs up and like, you know, the pregnancy pillows kind of support your lumbar. They support like your lower back and like your upper back and your legs um so for when you're sleeping or whatever during pregnancy and during pregnancy i slept a lot so the pregnancy pillow was definitely amazing to have um girl like i was like crazy sleepy during my pregnancy i was like girl i would fall asleep sitting up and and I, i'm not that type of person i always go and take myself and, and go lay down somewhere girl i would be sitting up i'd be sitting up like oh. I'm like, girl, like, what is my lifestyle? Like, what is my tea? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it, you know? Um, but yeah, so definitely a pregnancy pillow. I personally feel like it does not matter what brand you get. Um, I had forgotten the name, the brand of my pregnancy pillow. So all I did was just like link it and it's in my Amazon storefront. Um, and I got this one in like a lavender color. So I, I love it so much and I do use it often. Right. So, yeah, um, the next item that I loved using during my pregnancy, but OK, I'm going to say two items because I don't know what came over me. So when you're in the later stages of your pregnancy, like the third trimester, they tell you to drink red, uh, raspberry leaf tea. And I liked my raspberry leaf tea. I ended up putting it in a pitcher and making iced raspberry leaf tea and just like drinking it like that. But unfortunately... <laughs> The raspberry leaf tea awoke <laughs> the South Side Chicago girly within me, and it made me crave Arizona raspberry tea. And girl, honestly, towards the end of my pregnancy, I can be honest and say that I was drinking more Arizona than I was the actual red, red raspberry <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I, girl, well, whatever. I, I hadn't even drank Arizona like that, like when I was pregnant. Well, Cause right, I couldn't keep any food down. So I'm like, nothing was good for like a good while. And then out of nowhere, it was like, ooh, Arizona raspberry tea. And I was drinking that like literally by the gallon. And that is a craving that has stuck with me now. So I still love my Arizona tea. And no, I have not drank any actual raspberry leaf tea since. I was pregnant because you know Arizona <laughs> Arizona just holds that special place in my heart girl so that's just what my tea is but look I know that many girls talk about the health benefits of drinking red raspberry leaf tea and um I I can't tell you you know, I mean, because I try to keep healthy during my pregnancy, and yes, everything was fine. Did it make my labor faster? I don't know. This was my first time in labor. I mean, I guess I had a relatively fast labor. I mean, I don't know, because like when my water broke was like one thirty, and then I gave birth like later in the afternoon, so it was definitely like more than twelve hours. So I don't know, um, but like. 
I don't, I don't know. So I'm not the right person to ask because I don't have that information. I don't have that research. I just know that it was like recommended and I'm just like, okay, cool. And no, the doctors did not recommend it. It's more like one of those things that, like where you research pregnancy and what you're supposed to do for it. It's one of the things that comes up on the internet. And if you ask your doctor about it, your doctor's like, oh yeah, that's fine. You know, a lot of people do that. So that's how that goes. Right. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I drink the, the, the raspberry Arizona a lot more than the raspberry leaf tea, and that's just my tea. <laughs> um, other items that I use, I use that whole Palmer's cocoa butter kit. I use it, and I wonder if that's why my stomach looks as good as it does, because I actually did oil and massage my stomach every single day with the oil and like the, um, the body butter and the lotion. Um, I, I did that often. But you guys also know that I am a Bath & Body Works girly and a lot of Bath & Body Works lotions have shea butter in them. And I never went a day, like I, I'm not like unmoisturized. Like I don't go a day without being moisturized. So um, I always have on some type of lotion, oil, and I still wore perfumes and body sprays when I was pregnant. Now, you guys do remember when I went through my phase because when I did my Bath & Body Works haul, when I went through my sick phase, I had to, this was about maybe two months or so of my pregnancy, which two out of seven months is not that bad, um, where everything was making me sick, including my fragrances. So for that little lull right there, um, I was using my Palmer's cocoa butter and the oil and all that. And I was using the Evino lotion and body wash. Oh, I hated it. I, <laughs> I ended up throwing out my vino girl. I was so happy to get over it. Like when I finally started um, feeling better about my scents, because I was, I hated it. I hated smelling plain. I don't like smelling plain, you know? Um, what I would do, what is a nice combination though, and this is what I love about Bath & Body Works, because even though a lot of their um, more fruity or even their more crisp fragrances did unfortunately make me nauseous. When I would do my Palmer's cocoa butter and like my Aveeno um, lotions and body wash, and I would spray just a little bit of the warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works, that worked out for me. So that's about as you know plain as I smelled. I, Cause I still like smelling like something um, just because I've been doing that all my life. So it's like, it's like really like my routine. I need my routine. <laughs> but yeah, that that whole Palmer's. Oh, and tea. So I'm, even though I'm showing the Palmer's cocoa butter on my Amazon storefront, don't get it from Amazon. You can get the whole kit cheaper from Walmart. But we're going to put the Amazon link to just in case. But I, I didn't, I don't know, I said it, or maybe I didn't say it, but I, I, I said it. But you didn't hear it from me, but you did. So, <laughs> go ahead and get it from, get it from Walmart. It's cheaper, dude. Like, go and get some of your uh, maternity stuff from Walmart. Because you know what? Um, I had my whole Amazon cart full when I was pregnant of all the things that I needed. And I was like, they're gonna place my order that weekend. And then I went shopping um, with one of my loved ones. And we were in the store, we were shopping. And uh, I told her, I said, I wanted to check out like the body oil aisle and stuff like that. Cause I wanted to go and see how much the Palmer's cocoa butter. The whole kit was like $5 cheaper than Amazon. So I bought it and I still ordered the other kit off Amazon cause I didn't know how much I would need, but you know, wherever it's cheaper at, that's where you go, girl, or wherever what is most convenient, but whatever. That's that's enough on that. But yeah, that really worked out for me. Um, other things I liked using during pregnancy. Oh my goodness. Um, so I liked having the Dr. Scholl's uh, shoe inserts. I actually do not think I put those on my Amazon storefront. I loved having those because even if you're walking a little bit, girl, your feet do hurt. My feet never swelled up that bad. In fact, I actually had bad swelling after I gave birth um, that first week, which was so weird. Oh girl, my, my, my feet swelled and my boobies swelled. And those Dr. Scholl inserts still helped me for that first week after I gave birth. And that was like really, really, really helpful. Um, oh, you know what? I wonder if I should 
Oh, you know what? I never did the what's in my hospital bag video because I brought that with me to the hospital. I brought those with me. Um, would you guys still want to see me do uh, what was in my hospital bag video? It, it wouldn't, it's nothing to me because I still remember everything because I literally like, you know, I have a whole list. I literally like wrote out my list. So all I have to do is like go over it and um, put the items together and I could just like, you know, talk to you guys about it. So let me know if you guys would still want to see what I ended up packing in my hospital bag because I had a full thick hospital bag because I wasn't playing no games. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, let me know if you guys would want to see that. Um, but those Dr. Scholl's like foot, like shoe inserts, like those were so helpful. I liked the, the cooling gel ones. Those were so nice. Plus like, you know, I ended up being pregnant as the weather got warmer. So I kind of went through those uncomfortable stages of just like, ugh, you know, just feeling like a big old ball. Like I felt like a big old like sweat ball, like ugh, you know. Um, so the doctor show was really helpful with like my comfort and stuff. And as far as I can tell, let me think. So like the raspberry tea, the pregnancy pillow, which is a must have, um, the cocoa butter, the inserts. I got maternity clothes, but I didn't really need that many because I ended up fitting a lot of my clothes. So as you guys saw, so, um, I don't have much to say, um, or much of a review on maternity items as far as clothing is concerned. So yeah, I think that's actually the end of this video. So I'm gonna cap it right here and you guys can just go ahead and let me know if you always still want me to do a what was in my hospital bag video. I can obviously go ahead and do that and that would be like no problem, so. Okay, psych. Um, <laughs> once I closed out my video and I was about to go and edit it, I saw on my Amazon storefront, I have the pregnancy ball, like duh. I, I talk about the pregnancy ball how often girl and I didn't dare to put it in my favorite pregnancy item video it was obviously one of my favorite items I still use my pregnancy ball just to keep in shape to this day so yes the pregnancy ball and that like also it doesn't matter what brand it is you can just get whatever exercise ball um, just be careful of how much you blow it up because I do feel like the firmness matters um, because you want it to fit your comfort level. So, yeah. Pregnancy ball. Like, duh.